inspiration to form Haven has come from Sri Sri Mohananda Brahmachari, a great Hindu sage who traveled the world for over 50 years until he passed away in 1999. In 2003, Haven was established and founded a sister charity in India called the Mohananda Brahmachari Charitable Foundation, or MBCF. This year, we celebrate our 10th anniversary. The construction of our centre from the architect's plans took around eight months to complete, and specially raised foundations had to be built due to severe flooding problems faced in the area during monsoon season. It was finished in December 2004, and today the building sits surrounded by lush green paddy fields and can be seen from miles around. The Learning Centre is housed on the first floor and is one of Haven's three main objectives. MBCF provides primary education in literacy and numeracy to the children from the nearest village, both in English and in Bengali. Over the years, Haven members have spent time with the two teachers of the Learning Centre and have passed on different fun-based teaching techniques, which brought a lot of smiles. In 2009, the front of the centre was transformed with a new addition of a playground, complete with a yellow brick road. The playground is visited by children from the local village as well as used by the Learning Centre during breaks. In December 2010, gap year students Allegra, Maddie and Catherine embellished the newly created playground with a mural to mark each school year. Creating an environment that would allow for the integration and care of children with disabilities within the Haven Centre was one of our main goals of 2010. Haven has been able to extend this help outside the centre and into the children's homes. Chanil, age 17, has no physical mobility at all and as he grows older and bigger, the task of carrying him is becoming increasingly difficult for his parents. Now, Chanel always seems to have a smile on his face as he enjoys daily comfort and independence at home on his very own wheelchair that we were able to donate. Ostrom, age 9, underwent eight painful operations, but today he is for the first time in his life able to walk independently. He still has some way to go to gain complete balance, but the treatment required is expertly provided by our physiotherapist, Tharuk. Seeing Ostrom slide down the bouncy castle with others in 2011 was a heartwarming moment. A major part of the centre is the MBCF Youth Group. They used the library and IT suite, installed in 2006, to help them with their studies. They are a way of engaging young people from a number of the nearby villages in the centre's activities. These include the annual football match, in which gap year students volunteered to play. I'm Shua, I'm 18 years old right now. I want to study chemistry honours, but my ambition is to be a doctor. MBCF help us in many ways. When I first come to MBCF, I didn't know how to speak English. During the busier periods in the center, when people come from far away for medical camps or during religious festivals and celebrations, MBCF hosts feasts which take place all around the center. The food preparation can take days as hundreds come and the MBCF youth group are always willing to help serve the food and to organize the crowds. Haven has provided 29 medical camps since 2006. These range from blood donation camps to paediatric and orthopedic clinics to podiatry and leprosy camps, eye camps and physiotherapy camps and much needed gynaecology camps. In line with the World Health Organization, we've also provided mother and child clinics to try and minimize poor antenatal care. Apart from medical camps, the clinic housed on the ground floor of the centre provides primary medical care every day and our nurses 
provide elderly daycare facilities. Akla is the village closest to the centre, and here Haven has successfully fundraised enough money to install solar panels, and in November 2007, 400 people within the 52 dwellings in the village were able to turn on light switches within their homes for the very first time. In 2006, the purpose-built washing facility was completed. It provides 5,000 litres of pumped water twice a day and houses separate shower cubicles for women and men, paved areas for washing linen and crockery, and a series of fresh drinking water taps. Haven would like to thank all those who have travelled to the centre and volunteered their help and expertise, and those of you who have attended our events and helped fundraise here in the UK. Haven's many projects would not have taken place without your support, and we would not have been able to help so many people who live in abject poverty. Haven's 10-year anniversary marks a huge step forward, not only in helping a village emerge new, but an entire community. Yeah.